In this video, I'll be doing a home energy audit, or at least the thermal leakage part of the home energy audit, with the aid of an infrared or thermal camera. Um, here is my front door. And here is the same door in the infrared spectrum. Now, this particular thermal camera is a FLIR E4, their lowest uh, E-series model. The resolution is not nearly as good as what we would expect in something like a visible light camera. But these things are kind of pricey and the resolution is a little lower. Something to know when looking at these images, the upper left-hand corner is recording the temperature of what the targeting reticle in the center is looking at. The scale is on the right. The scale is important to pay attention to when using these kinds of devices because the color will shift to try to maximize contrast. So if we were to take this camera and move it and point it towards uh, an air conditioning vent, we see that the scale changes significantly. So the areas around the vent now are a, a yellowish uh, color, whereas they would have been a darker color if we were actually looking outside because the scales changed. So let's uh, take a look at some things. This is the front entry door. Uh, not a real surprise there. We have uh, gaps and therefore leaks. Uh, conducting heat through the top and bottom of the door, as, as well as the glass itself. This is an insulated door, but if you don't have a good seal around the perimeter, you'll have some leaks. Here is our aforementioned output or register vent for our air conditioning system. It should be noted that outside it is 90 degrees Fahrenheit right now. Uh, the general temperature of the interior of the house is around 73, 74 degrees Fahrenheit. We have a pair of French doors, leaking some heat. And this is the living room. Now, there are several things of interest in the living room. First off, let us look. Here's the entertainment center. First off of interest is off to the right here, we have a subwoofer. Now, this uh, particular piece of equipment has not been turned on or actively used uh, in at least the last uh, 22 something hours, but we can see that we are producing a good bit of heat because some portion of this device is always on. And if you're trying to maximize the efficiency of cooling, uh, this is a problem because any heat produced is not only electricity consumed to produce the heat or whatever electrical process caused it to be produced in the first place, but you're also spending energy in the air conditioning to move the heat outside of the house. You can also see a bit of heat coming off the PS3 here. Now, something of note, the PS3 looks like it's sending off some heat from around this area. This is actually reflected. The plastic is metalized to give it a chromey finish. And that metalized film is a radiant barrier. It reflects infrared. And actually, the infrared that it's seeing now is my infrared reflection in it. Over here, we have the home theater PC, uh, where its power supply located is somewhat obvious. And also off to the right, we have a UPS. And the UPS's batteries are pretty much in a constant state of charging. And so it is consuming some heat. Now, of a special interest is the wall behind it. Now, we don't see any form of duct or vent, but we clearly have something along this wall, up and down, that is uh, cooler than the rest of it. And if we come around, here we have a sunroom, and we have an excellent, excellent contrast here, uh, which we'll get to in a second. But over here, we have the UPS and the home theater PC. We have this cooler spot along the wall. Now if we come around the corner, here we have a bookshelf, and we notice it's much cooler, and the bookshelf is hiding some of this. But if we go above the bookshelf, we can see bleed through. The main air conditioning trunk, or the main vental, uh, ducting trunk, for this part of the house runs behind this wall. So in addition to detecting leaks, we can also tell something about the mechanical systems of the house. This isn't terribly surprising in the sunroom. We have event here and over here and in the infrared they show up really really well so they're a lot colder than everything else and we have heat galore 
that's leading in through the room. Now, something of great interest, and these are the types of things that are really cool to discover when you're doing these types of audits. Here in the ceiling, we can see areas that are significantly warmer than the areas around them. Some of this can, sometimes this is bleed through from the heat coming out of, of windows. The hot air rises and starts heating your ceiling. This, however, is an indication that the insulation that exists above this ceiling does not cover all the way to the corner of the house. What we're looking at here is obvious an exterior wall because we have windows in it. So we're missing some insulation here. 